When we first walked up to the trailer, the first thing we wanted to check is the liftgate battery indicator light. It should be blinking green telling us that our liftgate batteries are above 12.4 volts. If it is blinking amber, that tells us the liftgate batteries are below 12.4 volts. And before we leave, we should have the system checked out. The other light we want to check is the source light. Right now, it should not be on because we do not have the seven-way plugged in, so we do not have an input source. Now we're going to plug in the seven-way connector to the trailer. Now with the seven-way plugged into the trailer, we can turn the tractor's key switch to the on position or run position, and we should get a source light. It could either be an amber light or a green light, depending upon what the tractor voltage is. We verified that we did have power by turning the key switch on, so now we can start the engine. At this point, once the tractor voltage goes above 13.2 volts, the source light should become solid, saying we are charging from that source, and the liftgate battery should become a solid green too, saying that the unit is on and charging, the liftgate battery voltage has come up. This verifies the system is working. If after you start the tractor, your source light becomes a blinking orange, that's telling you you have a low input voltage and you are not able to properly keep these liftgate batteries charged. Before you leave, you should take the tractor and trailer by the truck shop and have it thoroughly inspected.